Welcome to VTube Corp, the number one place where you can sign up and become a successful VTuber. I'm honored and thrilled to be here. I'm ready to become a full-fledged VTuber. We're here to finalize your application. I just need to ask some questions and make sure you're up to VTuber industry standards. Of course, thank you for your time. I didn't realize it was such a process. They never do. Okay, so name? My name is Dozer. I, I'm sorry, wasn't not pulled up for you? I'm sure I typed it somewhere. Yes, it is. I just need to hear it. You said dozer, but it's spelled with two Z's. Is that not a typo? No, no, it's it's correct. Wouldn't that be dozer? I mean, I'm okay with both pronunciations, but it's supposed to be dozer. Then why is it spelled that way? <laughs> There's a funny story about that. I played World of Warcraft back in vanilla, and I needed a name for my Torrent, so I thought of that one joke about that sleeping- I'm afraid that's irrelevant to the form I'm filling out, so we need to move on. But you asked. My first recommendation for you is to drop the second Z. It's better for branding. But I already made the social media accounts. What's your lore? Who? Your lore, your backstory. Oh, uh, I mean, it's kind of personal and a little embarrassing. You want this form filling out to take all day. Oh, okay, fine, fine. I, I got temporarily isekai into a digital realm where I gained the power of technomancy, but I ended up coming back to life here. I don't know why I kept the cat ears though. And I'm not very good at technomancy. That's your lore. We got marine animals, zombies, wolf girls that look like foxes, a literal monarch, and this is the best lore you can make up. Oh no, I, I didn't make that. Next question. What is your quirk? Quirk like my hero academia? Don't be ridiculous. Just tell me your quirk. I don't know what you mean. <sighs> okay, who is this? That's Project Melody. And what would you say her quirk is? She's a lewd AI that was born from a floppy disk. And who is this? That's Onigiri. And what is her quirk? She burns rice? She's a 600 year old warlord who cooks an augmented reality. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Too simple. There are tons of cat VTubers, as well as VTubers who just wear cat ears for fun. That second part is a shame. Tell me about it. I'm a cat boy? Nope. I'm a cyber cat then. Is that it? Don't you do anything special, like any expression or special talent? Mm, well, when someone argues with me on Discord and I focus really hard at Googling something to prove them wrong, I start to glow. What parts start glowing? These parts. That's nice. Does it happen often? Not really. I don't really like it when it happens because I can't control it that well. And if I don't stop it after a certain point, Fair enough. I'll write down your quirk as rank C for cyber. Where are you typing? The keyboard slides under the desk. Don't worry about it. Speaking of Discord, are you going to create one for you and your content? I don't really want to deal with moderating another Discord server. Well, that's why you get mods. I don't really want to deal with recruiting mods. You have any talents or skills? I can edit videos and stuff. No, 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 no. Something entertaining to an audience. Like, do you sing? I would categorize my singing as karaoke level, where the point is to act like you can sing and you just end up blowing out your voice by the end of the night. What's your sign? Aquarius. Why? It's important for the wiki. Are you affiliated? Like with an agency? Be Shoujo, Hollow Live, Niji Sanji, um, uh, Mythic Talent, anything like that. I thought that's why I'm here, to get my start. I feel like it's obvious that I'm doing this all on my own. Legally, we have to document any past affiliations to avoid conflict of interest and ensure you have no involvement whatsoever with other groups. This includes, but is not limited to, the destruction of past VTuber designs and personas. That sounds a little toxic. And you still want to be a VTuber? Yes, I, I mean... I didn't realize it'd be this complicated. You're legally obligated to disclose the lewd tag for filing purposes. That's on the form? A lewd hashtag? Yes, something that collects any lewd art made on behalf of... Well, you. Well, I mean, it's not like I'm actively seeking it, but again, I wouldn't say no to it. I appreciate the hard work involved in making fan art of any kind and the attention would make me feel good. Lewd tag, please. Uh, 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 dozer dick. Nothing vulgar, please. Dozer loot? That works. Wait, what about regular fan art? Don't you want that hashtag? And how would you describe your say-so level? Say-so level, there's a scale? Yes, this option is not changeable in the future, by the way. You just asked me about a lewd tag. Answer the question, please, we don't have all day. I don't really think it's a relevant distinction for me, but 
I would say yes, I'm say so. Sounds good, just keep in mind the monthly charges to maintain that title. What the f They're due at the start of your time as a VTuber, but if you'd like, you can pay in three month increments to save 30%. What is this, OnlyFans? Hey, 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 being say so by definition means you're wholesome and therefore shouldn't know about OnlyFans. So I would keep that information to yourself. But it's the internet, who doesn't know about OnlyFans? Hey listen, I don't make the rules. It kinda sounds like you're making them up on the fly. Can you give me the name of the artist who made your model? And rigor if they're different? Oh, uh, I made this model. Sounds good, you can tell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, for artist and rigor, I'm just gonna type dozer with one Z. Two, two Zs please. Look, I'm just trying to help you stand out just a little bit. Because let's face it, you don't have boobs. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Boobs are nice. Boobs are nice. And it's not to say there aren't any guy VTubers who are popular. If you play your cards right, you can measure up to Kenji or to Kyo or Kudo. Who's that? You're killing me. All right, it will take a second to hear me out. I think I have something to offer as a content creator. And I went and learned how to rig in order to become a VTuber. And jank shit aside, I wouldn't be here if I didn't find value in becoming a part of this community. Well said. I like the sentiment. I will put that on file. All right. It looks like we're coming up at the end of the application process. So go ahead and add the words pre-debut on your X profile. You mean Twitter? Okay, okay, okay. Now pick a date for your debut. What, like it's like some kind of birthday? A rebirth, if you will, as you ascend to a better version of yourself. Jesus Christ. Yes, like Jesus Christ. But what if I already technically debuted my model? I already posted on TikTok and uh, Twitter. You're kidding me. What, what, what? Are you telling me that you made an unauthorized debut of your VTuber model? Do you have any idea how much this violates the VTuber code section six, paragraph nine? Did you not read the VTuber handbook? Is that bad? Okay, it's okay. So instead of pre-debut, you instead type re-debut. You got that? That's really important. But why do I have to pick a specific date? What's the significance? So you can build hype and show off your model in a fancy trailer with cool looking backgrounds. Hashtag VTuber showcase. Is that necessary? You know, there are thousands of aspiring VTubers out there, maybe millions. Many with amazing quality in both their models and in their personas, deserving of attention but are inevitably drowned out by the Marins and the Iron Mouses of the world. You're gonna want a fancy showcase video. But the date though. Well, how else is your potential audience going to know when you go live on Twitch? Oh, uh, I don't do Twitch. You're streaming on Kick then? Bold move. No, 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 I, I'm just not much of a streamer. I'm just gonna go.